We're here at Lucas Oil Stadium at Big Ten Media Day. We are here with Johnny Newton representing the Illini. You have become a big focus, you know, of this team this year. How, what does that mean to you, and how are you able to become a leader here with the Illini this year? Uh, it means a lot to me, honestly, even to be here at Big Ten Media. I mean, Coach B believes in me. I know the rest of the team believes in me as a leader, as a, a student, as a player, as a brother, you know, uh, just helping the team get to that next level that I know we could reach is my main goal for our team this year. And uh, I'm just blessed to be in this opportunity. Mm -hmm. And you're not afraid to vocalize on social media. You believe this Illinois defense is among the best of the best this year. What makes you a part of that top tier group? Uh, we just got dogs on that side of the ball, uh, really on both sides of the ball, but I can only speak for defense. Uh, I just know with our scheme and the players we have, like we, we have a really great opportunity to be something special. Uh, Coach Henry always preaches to us that uh, we could be really special and we believe it. Like we know it, the work we put in, it shows it that we believe it. So uh, just working day in and day out to get to that next level is something that uh, the whole defense is looking forward to. You talked about a little what makes this group special that, you know, you and Keith coming back, you got mm -hmm. Bailey in the secondary jackets. It's just a whole group of dogs. You know, what you know, what do you see from this defense? I see a lot from this defense, honestly. Uh, we got a lot of returners coming back up front. Uh, I think our whole front seven is returning, if I'm correct, other than one person. But uh, a lot of experience, a lot of people who've played, um, and yeah, a lot of younger guys who are ready to step up to that to that role. You know, the DB group we lost, of course, three important factors, four important factors, and uh, younger guys are just ready to be the next DB to come out of Illinois football. Mm -hmm. And we talked about it last week. You know, you have a big vision for you know your future in football, mm -hmm. but you're back for another year with Illinois. How are you able to stay focused on the ultimate goal of winning games here at Illinois this year while also, you know, keeping your personal goals in mind? Um, I know my personal goals will come with the team's success. Uh, me not just going out there like, oh, I need five tackles this game in a sack. Like, uh, just letting whatever come to me come to me. Like, not being greedy. Uh, me and my brothers are all eat on the field, you know. Um, if one of us eats, all of us eats. That's our motto, you know. Uh, and just like I said, not being greedy, you know, taking what comes to us. And then I also got to ask, you know, new uniforms you guys are wearing this year. What are your thoughts on the uh, new fit? I like it, honestly. You know, always looking forward to something new. Uh, yeah, uh, the helmets. I love the helmets, the jerseys. Uh, I just like the whole new look, you know, been running the same thing for three years now, so something new would be uh, be able to spice it up. Mm -hmm. From one fit to another, what went into your outfit today, the all black? Uh, I just know I'd look slimmer in the all black uh, rather than me wearing white or gray. Uh, I know the all black are just, that's just me. Honestly, I always wear dark clothes. Uh, I'm not a really two-tone type person, you know, so the all black, I knew I could just pull it off easily. And then finally, what can Illinois fans be excited about this year? Not just, I know the defense has a lot to uh, show, the offense, there's a lot of new guys as a whole, you know, what should fans be excited about this year? Uh, I don't want to predict anything, but uh, they could just know that every game is going to be a dogfight because uh, we have goals and high aspirations for ourselves. Uh, we know the fans want a lot from us and hope we're hoping to give what the fans expect us to them. And then think, uh, building off some of the things you said, I got to ask, is there any game on the calendar circled for you, maybe against a team that wears a uh, gold and black maybe? Uh, no, I think the biggest game for me would be a team that wears blue <laughs> and yellow. Uh, I have to say Toledo, of course, because my brother plays for Toledo. Uh, I don't take anything personal. You know, I'm happy for our coaches who went to Purdue, you know, uh, you got you want to move up in life. You know, uh, I've started as a little league player. My dreams are to go to the NFL. The same thing for coaches. They start as a GA, then they get a position coach job. And the next thing they want to be is, of course, the head coach. So, you know, I'm only happy for everybody who left. And uh, I'm just taking everything one week at a time. You know, I don't want to overlook the whole schedule and wait till we get to Purdue. Uh, 
But that'll be a really fun game, you know, just playing against our old coaching staff. Should we expect for the Toledo game, should we expect a big uh, family turnout for that one? Man, it might be 70 people in the crowd for that game, not even exaggerating. As, as many tickets as the bowl game? I know you mentioned at the bowl game you requested so many tickets for your family. Is it going to be uh, kind of like that? Exactly like that. might be even worse. Uh, I might be begging some people for tickets. <laughs> uh, yeah, I definitely need it because uh, I know my whole family is going to come out to that game. Awesome. Well, thank you, Johnny. At Big Ten Media Day at Lucas Oil Stadium, I'm Dante Furco.